Taking us to the edge of hope Rise up, get better, rise up Carry me outside I want the And there he goes, come on, clap your head. I would die in the wilderness. <laughs> We're Marissa, Nathan, Hensley, and JJ. We sold our house in 2015 and moved into an RV full time to live a life of less junk, more journey. Life is a journey. Let go and get going. Say, so what's up, Hensley? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Good morning. Good morning. I think we have finally figured out the formula for us to watch Sun Rises. We're so you, not <laughs> super great at getting up super early, are we, Hens? Yeah. So we have a five-hour time shift that makes it way earlier in Hawaii. The third thing that makes it super easy is uh, we're just walking out in our PJs. Check these things out. Mm-hmm. She's still zonked out, even with the five-hour time difference. But uh, we just walk out in our PJs at our Airbnb, and uh, we're getting a sunrise. That is Honolulu that we're checking out over there across the water. It's just an incredible view. It's I mean, crazy. just out our back door, so... <laughs> I definitely see us enjoying this outdoor space and these sunrises a lot. This is kind of our uh, gazebo slash beach area. It's private. Where you keep going through the gate and then you've got the actual beach area. We learned and we saw this at the airport. Did you know that you can legally ride in the back of a pickup truck in Hawaii if the cab area is full? That's pretty awesome. But so this blue house back here, um, that's our Airbnb. This whole lot is ours. The kids can run and play here in the grass. They got, again, this sandy area. But that plays into our entire big picture plan of what we're noticing, and this is kind of our lifestyle in the RV anyways, is we like to immerse ourselves in places. Because if you come to Hawaii for a week, or even if you come to Hawaii just for two weeks, there's a lot of islands, there's an insane amount of stuff to do, and it's because we have that flexibility as RVers to stay longer, and what we noticed was once you start booking stuff for two weeks plus, it's not that much different than booking for a month and you have the option of doing things like this. So we're staying on Oahu for a month, which is where we're at now. Uh, we're gonna go to Maui for a week. We got a pretty cool surprise coming there for you guys. And then we're gonna be on, they call it the Big Island. Uh, we're gonna be there for a month. So we have two full month stays and a one week stay. I'm working on some other things too, just so you know. Okay, so apparently we're working on other things too. <laughs> but that's the plan right now, apparently. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're at the Polynesian Cultural Center and like yeah, this place looks amazing but I tell you what even just the drive out here I think I get why they talk about the real Hawaii like beautiful. It was incredible. It looked like we were driving through Jurassic Park to get out here. <laughs> Which technically we drove past where they filmed a good portion of Jurassic Park. So that makes sense yeah. It's like place all is huge. day of events. So we are spending our two months in Hawaii traveling with another family that we met on Instagram and we have camped with them um, a few times and so they have become really good friends of ours and they were talking about how they wanted to go to Hawaii and we wanted to go to Hawaii and so what's really cool is we get to share this experience with them so they are down to detour on Instagram and we're gonna to be together for two months traveling and exploring and it is awesome having other kids and other parents to travel with. Make me some fire, babe. I watch a lot of Survivor, so I think that makes me a fire pro. He's like on top of it here. Oh, I have bad knees. I would die in the wilderness. <laughs> How's it coming, Hensley? Not that good. Good job. Here we go. Make the fire. Good job. Good job, JJ. Hey, hello, man. Hello. Hey, what, what am I doing wrong here? Uh, 
you should have used this one. Go low, go low a little bit. Yeah. So until. Yeah. There you go. Keep going. You see the brown? It's starting to get brown. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good sign. Doing great. It's tiring, eh? It's a little bit. Just swap. Sure. I got it warmed up for you. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Well, my fire was so hot, I'm like sweating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. So the Polynesian Cultural Center is an attraction that preserves the Polynesian culture. And the it's a nonprofit and it supports um, college students at the Brigham Young University of Hawaii and gives them scholarship. Did we get it? Is that right? What are we making here? I'm not really sure. Is it a fish basket? Is it? No, a fish. A fi we're making a fish? How's See? It a fish? Well, like this is the front ah, of the fish. Ah, I gotcha, okay. It's a fish on a fishing line. Whoa. Yeah, you want the fish? Uh-uh. Everybody please give me one last fish. Before we come to the coconut, let's stop with the hustle. When the coconut arrives, the hustle dries up. And there he goes, come on, clap your hands, keep it coming. The harder you clap, the faster they go up, come on. Look at that. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Come on, you want to climb the tree? That was crazy. I could do it faster, but that wasn't bad. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. This is what, the New Zealand area? Is that what you said? Yeah. Whoa, look at you. You look like weekend at Bernie's. Feels <laughs> good, eh, Bern? You're really loose. Never seen you this relaxed before. Keep it up, huh? I gotta go. Duty calls. So we were curious on what this would be like. Me picture like amusement park. You know, they've got like their shows at set times. This is similar, except there's just, it's all shows and all interactive. No, for the most part, not like a lot of rides and that kind of thing, but it's really teaching you about the different cultures that make up this area. So it's not just one country or one area. Uh, New Zealand was back there. Look at this Fiji up here we're about to check out. You got all these different cultures and all these different places with the signs pointing to them. It's again, similar to amusement park, but like way more interactive. Judge me right now, it's getting him to walk. One yeah. cracker at a time. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Hey, I got one question. To be honest. Which one's your favorite accent? Oh man. <laughs> you don't even act like you're oh, hesitating. No, so far, like. She hates saying favorites, but I know what her favorite is. New Zealand yep. is just. Happy hunk of days. Happy hunk of days. Yeah. Is that what it says? Yeah, I think it wow. says that. Yeah, happy. Hemsworth and Liam Chris Hemsworth. Hemsworth. I don't even know if that's the where Hemsworth. they're from. Uh, who they sound spot on like they're from New Zealand. I don't know if they are or not, but yeah, Thor. Um, it's beautiful. I could listen it is. to it all day. I could too. So this is poi. They said there's 60 varieties of this and 300 varieties around the world. And it's a starch. Can you eat it? You want some? How is it? What's it taste like? <laughs> That's her. I'm trying to be nice space. It's like a thicker texture than potatoes, but less flavor maybe. I think you're like expecting some flavor and there's not a lot there. It's not bad, it's just not a lot of flavor. Man, it's sticking your gums. I think she said they, yeah, I feel like a horse when I'm eating. <laughs> she said they eat it with fish and things like that okay. on the side. You eat it with stuff, yeah. Yeah. yeah by itself. <laughs> She's like riding it like a donkey or something. I know. <laughs> oh, good. Catch. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> so this is just like the night you graduated, huh? <laughs> this is something else. Hey, that's totally legal. Oh my goodness. So we drop by North Shore Tacos. This is crazy. <laughs> on the way home to get a bite to eat and then like out of nowhere this is going on. Apparently it's graduation night or something and there's a party and parade. I love seeing this though. This is nuts. We like feel like a local right now. Never my seeing life. this graduation party. See, they are Pumped to they graduate. Know, they know how to graduate here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he comes. It's not like we're going to miss that truck anyways. Get, actually grow like that? They painted it. You see where they painted it green? Painted it red? Did Say they it? did not. You're not supposed to paint a tree. I think this is a rainbow I get, eucalyptus. I get red but red I read that if you pour red. water on them, that they get any more, they get more vibrant, more colorful. That's a rainbow tree. Rainbow tree. Rainbow tree, yeah. That is awesome. Wow. 
there's so many cool things about Hawaii that we've already seen. Um, I know, and some stuff's pretty. We talked about like people riding the back of the truck and it being legal if it's full. Um, not a, no billboards are legal, right? Yeah. No um, that's pretty cool. You get like a really clear view everywhere you're driving around. It seems like the speed limits are like five or ten miles. But this is just me. It seems like they're slower. I don't know if you're trying to like slow it's you down. Island, island life, like it's, it's island, island time or time. what? But yeah, we slowly worked our way with no billboards blocking the view to. Uh, Dole Plantation, right? I'm so excited. This is like one of the the big things to do in Oahu. Um, they have like some activities for the kids, a maze, a train ride. Um, you can get a Dole Whip here. I mean, let's be honest. I'm here for the Dole Whip. Should so. be pretty fresh, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> So that is the Joel Plantation train ride that you can take a tour, ride a little train. It's like a 20 minute ride that you can go through the plantation. Unfortunately, we got here 15 minutes after this place opened and it's already a two hour wait. So take our advice. You'll want to get here when this place opens because that train ride filled up fast. So we're hoping JJ does not discover the train today and we're going to try to come back yeah, he's gonna discover that train. That is one of the awesome things about the flexibility that we have of having a month here, we're 30 minutes away, so we don't have to rush and kill ourselves. We can actually take our time, enjoy it, let our kids move at their own pace, which is usually really, really slow. <laughs> you want the bananas? Yep, there they are. Have you ever seen a banana tree before? No. I don't think I have either. Dole started out with sugar and pineapple, and then now it's got a multitude of smaller crops like coffee, tomatoes, tropical flowers. You think they say tomato over here? Tomato, tomato, tomatoes. <laughs> so there's some of the fields there. There's just not a bad view in Hawaii. This is crazy. What's our hack? Like we keep with our small kids, we don't get to listen to audio tours. So what's 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 the Cliff Notes version of I'm the audio so tour? I'm so awkward though on camera. No, 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 you're um, good. You were doing, you were, you were fine. Then I turned the camera all, off. It's all connected, and all the lore of Hawaii is connected to each one of these plants. Like and it loops of... in the food aspect, the traveler aspect, the the safety aspect of why they did what they did, going up the mountain, down the mountain. They explain volcano gods and goddesses as to... A lot of it has to do with Pele. Yeah, so, Pele is the volcanic goddess. Yes. And so, like, you can't pick uh, one there's, of the flowers going up the mountain, but you can pick it going down the There's that tree with the, the red what? flowers. So okay, you, We're, oh, over here, that tree right there? Like red okay, yeah. It says that if you pick that, if you're going up, it'll rain and you'll get lost is that's Pele's flower. But you can pick it on your way down and you don't want to obviously make so the volcano goddess So going on hikes with the kids, we gotta really angry. watch it probably, huh? Yeah, you don't want to make <laughs> any exactly. volcano goddesses angry. Hi! Hey. Hi! Wow. wow, he's been telling them all hi. He's so cute. Hi flowers and plants. Like a pot. Mm-hmm, this one's a foxtail palm. Video ready? Uh -huh. Oh, you pressed <laughs> Yeah, it's there melting it quick. Awesome. I almost got more. Just I enough for the moss family. I was here and it's so melty. Yeah, we like, we walked pretty quickly. So he's like, wow, you're oh, moving really fast. Oh my <laughs> goodness. A it's in half a pineapple boat, a banana split boat. Walker. With pineapple ice Penzi, cream. You so don't it's crazy. Man. Oh, wow. Is that mine? <laughs> so you got pineapple, strawberry, and caramel. Chocolate? Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Is that good? Mm -hmm. It's like chunks of pineapple in there. Can I Is that that good, JJ? Can I <laughs> We've got some that have tapped out. Nathan never taps out. Okay, JJ's not tapping out either. I'm gonna get these chunks of pineapple at the bottom. Yeah. Mm. I think that's it. <laughs> Do we get like a prize or something for doing that? Uh, we get a belly ache. <laughs> uh, that, that was too much. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Let's follow So we're finding all these where those are at, is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. 
world's largest, Marissa. The world's largest world right. something. Well, I'm, like I'm world's very greatest coffee or donut. Well, like that's usually a like on an elf. You did it! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. No, I'm very touristy like that. I love when something is the world's something. JJ, you little booger, come here. What are you doing? JJ, come here. <laughs> So what we got? Ooh, you got the first one? What'd you get? The warrior? A world's largest maze sounded uh, good in theory, but <laughs> <laughs> we're worn I'm out tired. after eating what might be the world's largest dole whip. <laughs> like we're about to hurl. <laughs> it was all good. It was all fun. I think there's so much more to what you see on the surface with Hawaii and the culture. Well, that is our journey for today. A lot more to come. A lot more to come. We are loving Hawaii and cannot wait to keep sharing it with you guys. Till next time, catch you guys later. <laughs>